Hi, this is Eula and I am revolutionizing Notion experiences. In this video, I will be giving you a tour and step-by-step -step tutorial of the Notion Finance Tracker template. If you haven't already, you can get it at eulacreations.gumroad.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting Notion content and template. Now, let's dive into the tour. The first section shows you the budget for the current month. It displays additional data such as your progress towards spending that budget, as well as the amount left to spend. Beside it, you can see your balances, both your total balances and the balances in your accounts. Below that, you can find some information on the savings you are working on, your payables and receivables, which all show you data about the saving or payment progress, the amount you have left to save or pay, as well as the due date. On this side, there's a callout block for quick navigations to all the databases in this template, as well as the quick buttons for easy adding of income, expenses, transactions, and so on. You can add more buttons that will suit your workflow. Further below are your income, expense, transfer, subscriptions, savings, and payables or receivables trackers. Even further down is your month's total expenses by category, followed by your monthly summary for the year 2023, which shows you the budget you set for the month, as well as your total income, expenses, and saved money. Now that we have covered the tour, let's learn how to manage your own Notion Finance Tracker. The first thing we need to do is to set all the templates to default for easy setup. In a database, click the Collapse button beside a new. Click the three dots beside the template and click Set as default. Do this in every database. For these six databases, instead of all views, set the template to default only on this view. Let us create the monthly budget. In the navigation, click Monthly Budget. Input the month name and set the budget for this month. Do this in all the months. Go back to the main dashboard and click Spending Category. Add a category by clicking New, then set the monthly budget for that category. Do this in all of the categories you will add. Add an icon for visual appeal. We can now add some accounts. Just click New. Input the account name and the starting balance. Add an icon for visual appeal. Do this in all the accounts that you will add. Now, set the filters for each table to the current month. Make sure that you update these filters whenever the year or month changes. Now, we can input our transactions. For income, click New, then type the name of the income, the amount, and the account. The same process of inputting can be applied in the Expenses Tracker, except that you need to assign the spending category in the Expenses Tracker. For the transfer, input the amount, the source account, then the account which you will transfer the money to. For the Subscriptions Tracker, we need to create a template for each subscription so that a transaction will automatically be generated at the time of payment. To do this, click the drop-down arrow beside New, then click New Template. Input the name of the subscription, the amount, the account, and the expense category, which is Subscriptions. Add an icon for visual appeal. Exit the template. Click the drop-down menu again. Click the three dots beside the subscription you created and set the appropriate frequency of payment. You can also do this for your bills such as rent or internet bills. Now, for savings, if you are saving for something, click new in savings and input the name, amount, and due date. Add an icon for visual appeal. When you are done saving for this, tick the don't checkbox so it can be hidden from the view. To record your savings, go to the savings tracker here. Click new. Input the amount, the savings, and the account. Now, for payables and receivables, if you have a new debt, record it here first by clicking New. If it is money owed to you, then you need to click the New in the Receivable section. Let us go back to the debt we added. Input the name, the amount, and the due date. Once the payments are done for this, tick the Don't checkbox so it can be hidden from the view. 
Now for our debt transaction, click New under the Payables or Receivables section. If you paid the amount, select Paid, otherwise Received. Input the amount, the debt, and the account. Now, let's proceed to the tutorial on how to change the currency. When you purchase the template, there will be a Change the Currency page included. Click that. Now you can see a table database with different views. Click the name of the property and select Edit Property from the drop-down menu. Change the number format to the currency you want. Do this for every property. Now, some properties may not have the number format option. Look for the code block of that property below. For example, for this property, the view name is budget and the property name is budget display. Then we know that the code block we are looking for is this one. Now, change all the black emojis to the symbol of your currency. Make sure that there are no excess spaces and make sure that you do not delete any character besides the target emoji, otherwise you will mess up the code. Do this for every target emoji in that block. Now, copy the code. Click the cell below the property name we are working on. Press Ctrl A or Command A, then Ctrl V or Command V, then click Done. Do this for all the properties where the number format option do not appear. Repeat the process in all the views. And that's it. That concludes our tutorial. If you are interested in more of my templates, check them out at ulacreations.gumroad.com. I offer a variety of free Notion templates that will revolutionize your Notion experience. For updates and Notion tips, follow me on social media. And remember to like and subscribe.